We are going to take this dash from tan to black. It's coming up. What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of 803 Speed. We have got this interior car pretty much stripped. As you can see, no headliner, no trim. Uh, we still have the old door panels in. We've actually got some new ones coming uh, that we'll be able to, uh, you know, re-dye and everything, get them black, because these are just kind of messed up, and I really don't want to try to fix these anymore. But uh, back seat's gone. Everything is out of the car pretty much. I do still have the carpet left in it. Uh, we've had some pretty bad weather here in South Carolina. It's been rainy quite a bit and quite frankly, I don't want to put my brand new carpet out in wet grass and try to cut holes and everything else that I need for this carpet. So I'm going to leave it in here just for a temporarily. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, this has been a, one hell of a project so far. I'm, I'm exhausted. There's a lot to do. There's a lot of parts and pieces. Uh, some of it doesn't go quite as planned, but you know, for the most part, I'm pretty happy with the way uh, mostly everything has turned out so far. So anyway, I am going to clean this dash because I do want to paint the dash. And I think we're in a good spot now where we've got all the trim removed from it. Um, pretty much everything is, is done except for the dash. And so when the time comes and we get the car painted and we start putting the carpet back in and put all the interior parts and pieces back in, I want the dash to be painted. And um, But anyway, so... Uh, one of the things I do want to tell you guys to do before you do the dash, I didn't do these on the on the panels itself, but um, something like a dash is going to be seen quite a bit. It's going to get a little bit of wear and tear because that's one thing you're going to want to clean over and over and over again and make your car look good is go out and get you some Pro Strength degreaser. I'm going to spray this degreaser on the dash first, let it kind of soak in. Um, I'm going to scrub it down. I've actually got some detail brushes here to help me get in all the little cracks and crevices. Uh, and then we're going to follow that back up with the alcohol that we used to spray everything else with so it gets good and dry and then we'll start to paint. But anyway, back to the video. Let's start cleaning this damn dash. All right, so now that we've got our dash really all degreased, uh, now we're gonna take our rubbing alcohol that we used in a prior episode, spray down the entire dash pretty good, wipe it down. We got a clean terry cloth this time, or a microfiber towel. Uh, that way we can see if there's any other dirt and oils and stuff that are left over once we get done with the rubbing alcohol. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this down and then we'll be ready to paint.
So what's up guys, we're back now and we are ready to paint. We have got the dash good and dry. We've got certain parts of it taped up. There's some, like a little rear defrost here. We wanna make sure we all paint over that. Uh, just a few little things, just wanna minimize any overspray we're gonna have. But I'm gonna start down here on this end and I'm gonna work my way that way. Don't worry, this has a cracked windshield so I have to replace the windshield so I'm not overly concerned about getting a little bit of spray on the bottom side of the windshield. If this is your car and you have a mint windshield, then I highly recommend going and, and getting like some newspaper or some, some sales ads, taping that up against your window and uh, making sure you just use extreme care when doing that. If you do get a little bit of overspray, nothing that a razor blade can't fix from the inside, but again, you don't want to be scraping all day. Just want to do a little, little small pieces here and there. But again, this windshield's going out, so I don't really care about it too much, but let's get started. light coats on this time. You don't want to go thick, you don't want to go heavy. Again, this is your dashboard. This is going to be seen by everybody. So we're just going to do it in a light stroke and we're going to come back and do it again. do right now is just these light strokes you can already see it's starting to get a little darker it's starting to look a lot better but once we go back and hit it with that second and third coat this thing's gonna look pristine <laughs> 